couple of years ago on YouTube, I posted a video about how I built a gravity-fed uh, rain barrel irrigation system. Over the past couple of years, I've kind of updated it slightly and I think really improved it. And I wanted to update my previous video and kind of show um, how I'm doing it now and why I think it's a much better system. So let's start at the beginning. We have my two 65 gallon rain barrels. These are good ideas urn rain barrels. Um, I think you can still get them at Stein's in the Northeast Wisconsin area or on Amazon. And so I have rain coming off my roof from my detached garage down to a little homemade diverter. Now all the pipes in the system are not glued together. So I can uh, take them apart, redo them however I want to, and it's really easy to do. Um, with each of these going into the different barrels, it splits the rainwater evenly. And if I want to only go to one barrel, I can just flip the pipe upward and all of it will go to the other barrel. So it's pretty customizable that way. Um, this pipe in between um, is just connecting the overflows of both barrels. So if one fills up faster than the other one, they kind of even each other out. And then I have a pipe going down. That's the overflow. Um, so it won't totally flood out. If I get a really big rain and both barrels are full, um, these barrels do have also kind of a channel overflow that spills water out the front, which is kind of nice. So, um, like in the last video, the barrels have pretty much stayed the same. Um, the one on the right hand side is um, one that I just use for filling um, watering cans and such. The left hand one is going to the garden. On both of them I replaced the standard spigot with the quarter turn ball valves that let the, fr the full flow of water come through. It's not constricted by the smaller spigot that usually comes with it. Uh, picked it up at Lowe's, highly recommend it. Um, it goes to three quarter inch CPVC through a little fitting with plumber's tape to keep it all sealed up. Um, all of this is just push fit together. There's not a whole lot of pressure coming out of these barrels. I do have them elevated on a couple of courses of cinder block just for a little bit more um, gravity pressure through them. Um, they take a turn through three-quarter inch pipe kind of down at an angle all the way to the garden and it ends up here and this is kind of a little manifold it has six little out, um, outputs here these go from three-quarter inch to half inch pipe I'm only using two this year so I have the other ones just kind of capped up but I can have all six in use if I want to um, but the big difference between last year's, or the previous generation and this one, is instead of having 20 foot lengths of CPVC pipe with a lot of little holes drilled in them, which wasn't very accurate, and a lot of the water would just kind of go to nowhere or not reach the plant it was intending to. If there wasn't a full rain barrel, you wouldn't get the same amount of pressure. With this system, I've just cut a lot of little pieces of CPVC in different lengths, kind of made like a bucket for myself, full of these little pieces anywhere from like an inch long to still a few feet long. Um, this section here that you're looking at, I don't really have finished yet. So um, I'm not going to be able to really turn it on and show you. You're just going to have to kind of take my word for it for right now. Um, the whole system has to be capped um, for the pressure in the pipes to kind of build up to get even flow through the whole system. Um, now the secret to this system, which I like a lot better than the old system, is I have these just kind of arranged so that pipes go to each plant. And at the end I have a cap with a tiny hole drilled in it. Um, still as tiny as the ones that I did last time. 
Um, you either have to get a really small drill bit um, from your regular um, home center or they do have that pack of really tiny drill bits at Harbor Freight that work well for these. And so I basically use T's and elbows and 45's um, all the different fittings for CPVC to just kind of create like a little tinker toy little construction um, where I have a pipe leading to each different plant. As you can see I really really have to weed my garden. I'm actually gonna mulch it with grass clippings here before too long. But um, so with this one um, at the end is regular capped. It's not um, a cap with a hole in it. So all the water rushes down from the rain barrel comes down the length of pipe and then when this is all stopped up all, all the pipes will fill up with water and water will just come gushing out of the little holes. Um, and it comes out pretty evenly. It doesn't really matter how much water I have in the rain barrel. Um, it just works really really well. Right now where I don't have this trunk finished and capped all the water will kind of gush out of this pipe right here. So I have to finish and get these ones capped. Um, some of my seeds didn't come up so I gotta kind of reconfigure this length of pipe here. But um, it works really really well. I waste less water since I'm getting directly at the roots of each plant instead of just kind of shooting water all over the place. Um, and I can take this apart at the end of the season and throw it in a bucket in the garage and then take it out next spring and put these all back together. I don't have to plant the same plants in each um, or plant the same plants in the same areas. I can kind of shift things around which I like to do um, and customize it as much as I want to and basically I have kind of an in initial investment of you know the pipes I probably bought seven or eight lengths of the CPVC pipe, this half inch pipe, cut into an assortment of lengths, and then probably about a hundred caps, and then maybe between 50 and 75 T's and assorted elbows and such. Um, depending on how big your garden is, you might have more or you might have less, but um, it's just a really beautiful system. It works really, really well. Um, and it's going to last me for a good long time, which I really like. Um, the only downfall about this system, which was also true of my previous generation, was with such tiny holes in the caps, um, sometimes it's going to be prone to getting dirt and sediment and some other st funky stuff from the rain barrels. Um, clogged up at the end of the pipes, you know, water splashes during a rainstorm. It might kind of clog up the little holes in the pipes. If you find that to be the case, um, you can either take the caps off and kind of rinse them out or shake them out by hand. Or with this system, if I go back to my garden rain barrel, what I also have here is you'll see this pipe kind of feeding in to the three quarter inch pipe going to the garden. And then it goes to this little um, ball valve with the blue handle. Um, the pipe coming up from the ground is coming from the house and that city water pressure. And I can open out that valve up very, very, very slightly and get plenty of water pressure through. I don't want to open it up all the way and put full city water pressure through and blow out all of these, you know, push fit connections. Um, but I can put just enough city water pressure in um, to blow any sort of sediment out of the system and it's pretty much good to go again. Um, these rain barrels do have little screens in them that they're not super fine but they do keep at least the big leaves and <laughs> crap out of there. Um, I don't have these really secured in too much. I mean these are all push fit. Um, in here so I can take these apart and actually take the barrel out and rinse it out at the end of the season which is a good thing to do anyways because it does g get some fine sediment in the bottom. Um, it doesn't really get algae. I used to have a clear tube 
that went between the two and used to grow algae like crazy, but um, don't really have that problem anymore. Um, but, but this system I'm really enjoying and I can use it for a good number of years to come and um, hopefully if this kind of system appeals to you, I'd love to see if this works for you. Give me a comment at the bottom of this video. Let me know how it's working for you or if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them.